All right, so with 5.3, we're going to talk about solving systems of linear equations by elimination. So in 5.1, we talked about solving with graphing. 5.2, we talked about solving with substitution. So now we're going to talk about the third way that we can solve systems of equations, and that is elimination. So it gives us a step-by-step -step here in the core concept. It says step one, multiply if necessary one or both equations by a constant. So at least one pair of like terms has the same or opposite coefficient. So that means if I have an x in the other equation, I'm going to need a negative x. Because I want my variable that I pick to eliminate. So I want them to cancel out. If I have a negative 4y, that means I need the other equation to have a positive 4y. So they have to have the same coefficient but opposites. Opposite meaning one is positive and one is negative. So then we can add or subtract the equations to eliminate one of the variables, solve the resulting equation, and then substitute that answer back in to find the other variable. So the important part here is we need the same variable but opposites. So let's look at example 1a. Are either one of these equations, do they have the same variable but opposites? And is that the x or the y? Which one is the same but opposites? The y. We have a positive 2y and a negative 2y. So if it's not the case where we don't have the same variable, we could always multiply one of the equations to give us the same, but here it's set up perfectly for us. So we're just going to combine the like terms together and eliminate the y's. So what's 3x plus 3x? 6x. 2y minus 2y cancels. It's just 0y, or it's just 0, so it cancels out. So that's why this is called elimination, because we're eliminating one of the variables. So the y's cancel. Then this would be equal to, because we keep our equal sign in the same spot, what is 4 plus negative 4? Zero. 0. So now from here, we're going to solve this. What, how would I solve 6x is equal to 0? Divide by 6. So x is equal to, what's 0 divided by 6? 0. So x is equal to 0. Now, how would I solve for y? Plug in 0 for x, just like we did before. So when we find one variable, we plug in that number into the other. You can plug it into either one of your original equations. So I have 3 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 4. So once we find one of the answers, we just take that and plug it back in. 3 times 0 is 0. So I don't need to write it because it's just 0. So 2y is equal to 4. What would we do next? Divide by 2. So what is y equal? 2. How would we write our answer? 0, zero comma 2. Perfect. Bless you. Let's look at B. Do we have the same variable or the same coefficient but opposites here? Yeah. And which variable? X. The x's. The x's are the same but opposites. So we don't have to do anything. We can just go ahead and combine our equations. So I'm going to add the x's together, add the y's, and add the numbers. What's 3x minus 3x? Yeah. Zero. They cancel out. They're eliminated. That's why this is called elimination because one of your variables will get eliminated. What's 2y plus 4y? 6. 6y. And 7 plus 5? 12. Now from here, we're going to solve this equation. So I just need to solve for y. What would we do to solve for y? Divide by 6. Divide by 6. So y is equal to? 2. two. And how do we find x? Plug in the y. So I'm going to take y. 
and plug it in. You can plug it into the y in the first equation or the second. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you're plugging it into y. So I have 3x plus 2 times 2 is equal to 7. What would I do first? Distribute. Or 2 times 2, which is? 2 times 2? 4. So 3x plus 4 is equal to 7. What would we do next? Move the 4 over. So I'm going to subtract 4. So 3x is equal to 3. Then what? Divide by 3. So what is x equal? 1. How would we write our answer? 1 comma 2. Let's look at C. Or I guess there is no C. All right, A on the next page. Solve the system of linear equations by elimination. So same thing. For A, do we have the same coefficient but opposites for one of our variables? Where? Y's have the same number? Is 3 and negative 6 the same but opposites? No. So I have to make them the same but opposites. So what could I multiply to the first equation to get 3 to turn into a positive 6? 2. 2. So I'm going to multiply everything in the first equation times 2. Multiplying by 2. I made it up because we said that we're going to eliminate the y's. We picked y. So I need this to be a positive 6 because this one's a negative 6. So what do I have to multiply by 3 to make it a positive 6? So I picked 2. Yeah, you can do negative 2. You can multiply by whatever you want. Just make sure all three things in your equation get multiplied by that number. A lot of people will forget to multiply, like, the other side of the equals. Just don't forget. Everything in your first equation needs to get multiplied by that. So I'm going to rewrite my new first equation right below it here. So what's 2 times negative 10x? Negative 20x. 2 times 3y? 6y. And 2 times 1? 2. 2. Now, are my y's the same number but opposites? Yes. So will they get eliminated? Yes. So that's our goal, is to set it up so one of our variables is going to get eliminated. So let's combine our like terms together. What is negative 5x minus 20x? Negative 25x. What is negative 6y plus 6y? Zero. They cancel. They're eliminated. So that was our goal. Perfect. What's 23 plus 2? 25. Now from here we solve just like before. What would we do next? Divide by negative 25. So what is x equal? Negative 1. Now what would we do to find y? Plug it in. So I'm going to take x is equal to negative 1, and I'm plugging that into the x. You can plug it into the x in the first equation or the second. It doesn't matter. So negative 10 times negative 1 plus 3y is equal to 1. What do we do first when solving this? Multiply. What's negative 10 times negative 1? 10. Positive 10. Plus 3y is equal to 1. What would we do next? Move the 10. So we have to do the opposite since we're moving it to the other side of the equal signs. We subtract 10. So we get 3y is equal to, what's 1 minus 10? Negative 9. Negative 9. And then what would we do next? Divide by 3. So what is y equal? Negative 3. Perfect. How would we write our answer? Negative 1, comma, negative 3. Perfect. All right, let's look at B. Do we have the same number but opposites with the same variable? No. So we got to make one of them the same number but opposite. So which do you want to eliminate, the x's or the y's? 
Sure, let's eliminate the y's. Oops. So if I have a negative 3y on top, what would I need to make the other y? Positive 3. So what do I need to multiply by the second equation to change it? Multiply it by 3. So just make sure everything in the second equation gets multiplied by 3. So my new second equation, I'm going to write it on the side here. What's 3 times 3x? Three 9x. Three, three times y? 3y. Three. Three and 3 times 12? 36. 36. Perfect. I'm going to rewrite the first equation above it just to make it easier to cancel things out. So I have x minus 3y is equal to 24. I like it when my like terms are in line just so it's easier for me to combine everything and do elimination. So all I had to do is rewrite the first equation. Now let's combine our like terms. What is x plus 9x? 10x. What is negative 3y plus 3y? Zero. They eliminate. They have to eliminate. So if they don't eliminate, if one of your variables do not eliminate, you did something wrong. So when you set it up, you'll always get one to eliminate if you do it right. If not, you maybe multiplied something wrong. What is 24 plus 36? 60, perfect. What would we do next? Divide by 10. So what is x equal? 6, awesome. How do we find y? Plug it in. Do you want to plug it into the first or the second equation? First? All right. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you're plugging it into x. So I have 6 minus 3y is equal to 24. What would we do to solve for y? Bring the 6 over. So since it's a positive 6, I'm going to subtract 6. We do the opposite when moving it to the other side. So I have minus 3y is equal to, what is 24 minus 6? 18. What's negative 3y equals 18? What would I do to solve it next? Divide by negative 3. What is 18 divided by negative 3? Negative 6. How would I write my answer? 6, comma, negative 6. Perfect. Any questions? Good here. All right, last one we're going to do today. Let's look at C. Do I have the same number but opposites? No. So we got to think which variable do we want to make the same number but opposites? What do we want to eliminate, the x's or the y's? Sure, let's eliminate the y's. It doesn't matter. There's lots of different approaches that you could do to these. You could say, I want to eliminate the x's first. It would just be a couple different steps. But when you do the right work, you'll end up with the same answer. So you guys picked, let's eliminate the y's first. I have a 4y, my first equation. So what would I need the second equation to be? Negative 4y. So what do I need to multiply it to get it to be negative 4y? Negative 4. Perfect. So I'm going to multiply everything in the second equation by negative 4. So what's negative 4 times 4x? Negative 16x. What is negative 4 times y? Negative 4y. And negative 4 times 13? Chris, what's negative 4 times 13? Negative 52. Perfect. So this is my new second equation. Let's rewrite our first equation above it just to make it easier for us. So I have x plus 4y is equal to 22. What would we do next? Dylan, what do I do next? Um, the, the 
Uh, yeah. So the y's are going to cancel, which was our goal. Perfect. Let's add our other like terms together. So what is x minus 16x? Negative, uh, 15x. negative 15x. And what is 22 plus negative 52? Uh, negative, 30. negative 30. Awesome. Perfect. We're going to divide by negative 15. Dylan, what does x equal? Negative 2. Are you sure? No, positive. Positive oh, 2. Oh, you were right the first oh, time. Oh. All right, what do we do to find y? Okay. Dylan, you want to finish it off? What do we do to find y? Oh, you plug it in. You plug it into the... Awesome. Take x, plug it into <laughs> x. So 2 plus 4y is equal to 22. Awesome. Subtract the 2 to the other side. So 4y is equal to 20. Awesome. Divide by 4, so y is equal to 5. How would we write our answer? Uh, 2, 2, 5. 2, 5. Perfect.